What is a UX design process? When Googling the phrase UX design process, you may come upon the design thinking model or a variation of it. However, the main phrases are empathize, define, ideate, prototype, and test. And some of the models show a straight line. However, the process is more fluid. You may revisit steps, which is normal, such as from test back to prototype, back to test. So the first step is empathize. In this step, you will be looking at the user research. Within this, you can look at primary, such as surveys or interviews and or secondary research, e.g. metrics that are already out there with the aim to find the pain points. So here are some examples of how that would look like. As you can see, I found the main frustration of the user being the budget, lack of kid-friendly interface, and reading was required. As well as doing user research, it is also important to do a competitor analysis. This allows you to see what the competitors are doing well and doing not so well, creating opportunities for you and all your clients. Now that we have empathized, the next step is define. So within this stage, we'll be setting our goal, creating the problem statement. In my example, my problem statement was too often children don't have the right diet due to cost and or skill to cook their own food, leading to children going sleep on an empty stomach. So the goal here is to design an app teaching children how to cook simple, healthy food that is budget friendly. At this stage, you also want to define the target persona. This will involve demographics such as age, gender, as well as psychographics such as goals and frustrations. Hello fellow designers, I'm here just to pop in and tell you about Vato Elements. It is not a sponsor of this video, it is just an affiliate link, but I really believe in their products and I just wanted to shout them out. So I use Envato for any fonts, any stock imagery and videos, any mock-ups and more. So let's get back to the video. The next step is to ideate. So here is where you will have your initial idea. Ideas. This usually is in a form of sketches. This can be either done with pen and paper or if you want to be more environmentally friendly and cut down your paper usage, your trusty iPad or tablet will do you good. As you can see, it is really rough sketches, nothing pretty, just to get the idea across. You may also do some user flows like this one. The prototype stage is where you will do the digital wireframes. This can be lo-fi prototype and you can use software like Figma or Adobe XD. When the prototype is done, it is time to test. This is where you will conduct usability studies, which will allow you to improve your prototype. Next, that's when I would move back to prototype and create those improvements based on the usability findings and create hi-fi prototypes. And you may do the two final steps, prototype and test, a couple times. If you have enjoyed watching this video all about the UX process, you may also enjoy watching my UX design portfolio right here.